establish relations with the Soviet Union, but a big battle is awaiting them. And this is going to change the course of history. Finland security was dominated by the fear that the Soviet Union would any time attack them. So the priority for the for the Finland was to end the conflict with Russia and to sit with the negotiations with them. And the negotiations between these two countries happened in 1918 and 1920, which led in October to sign the Treaty of Dorpat. In Treaty of Dorpat, the Finland received all the lands which was held under the Russian rule plus the Petsamo area which gave Finland a part of the Arctic Ocean. The Soviet, the Soviet Finnish border on the Kalaline Isthmus was drawn only 30 kilometers from the Leningrad, formerly it was which was known as the St. Petersburg. And since this this border was too close to St. Petersburg, the Russians were very skeptical and they were ready for another negotiations or another trade. Historically, it was Soviet Union which was actually a threat to Finland because by the several means Soviet Union, the Russia had put their dominion over that country. But Finland was never a threat to the Soviet Union. But the location at which the Finland was situated, it was very very important for the Russia to take care of her own national security. And it was believed that through through the through the Finland there would there would be a chance of the German intrusion. And to protect their security, Soviets initiated negotiation with Finland from 1938 to 30. But nothing was achieved. Finland assured that the Finland would never allow their territory to violate and there would there would never be any threat from their side to the rush to the Russian uh, to, to, to the Soviet Union. But Soviet looked for building a base at the shore of the Finland from where the Soviet would block the hostile force which which would possibly invade Finland government believed that accepting one demand would let them would encourage more and more demands. Meanwhile there were another parallel negotiations that were happening and that happened between Soviet Union and the Nazis and they signed a treaty which was known as the Non-Aggression Pact of 1939. So the Non-Aggression Pact of 1939, this basically it, it was a pact which describes that the Soviet Union would have a sphere of influence on Finland, Baltic states and the East Europe. But the pact was violated when Germany invaded Poland and this put a lot of influence on these countries. The Soviets invited Finland for the final negotiations but the Finland believed that these are the ways so that they so, so Finland they, they considered that it is merely a way to target the, the Finland so they start to mobilize their own army. In negotiations Soviet had simple demands. Soviet said that they want to build a naval base at the Gulf of Finland and the intention of the Soviet was to was to guard the Leningrad which is the St. Petersburg. In exchange the Soviet offered Finland to have the 8,800 square kilometer of the Caroline along with which the Finnish border and this was going to be the twice the amount of the land that they they had in but the Finland's point of view was quite different. Finland was not in mood to drop her neutrality at for for anybody and it is necessary to have the neutrality to save herself. So Finland was very clear about her neutrality that no matter what happened no matter what happens she is not going to take a side and she wants to maintain her neutrality on both the end. Moving the Finnish border on the Caroline Isthmus away from the Leningrad 
would give the Soviet positions much of the line of the Finnish fortification and loss of which could could defend could could weaken the Finnish def defenses. So if the Finnish border had to move from the Leningrad to the Caroline Isthmus, it means that uh, the all the Finnish forts, all the Finnish forts which which the Finnish had built there. It will be a great loss for them and their defense security was compromised. And since nothing came out from, from the negotiations, so Soviet attacked Finland on November 30, 1939 without declaring a war. And this war was called as Winter War. As nothing worked out from this negotiation, so Soviet attacked Finland on November 30, 1939 without declaring a war. And this was called as Winter War. And it is also named as the Russo Finnish War. And in this war, the tiny Finnish army took the huge Red Army. In this war, the Finland gave a strong resistance to the Red Army, but eventually the Soviet was the one who won. The treaty after the war forced Finland to cede 11% of her territory to the Soviet Union and get and get the rest of the country to remain independent. For Soviet, victory came at a huge price because during the fight, the Red Army lost 300k soldiers as compared to the Finnish 65k soldiers. In 1948, Treaty of Friendship and mutual assistance was signed which was the foundation of the soviet finland relations so there are two articles there number one it calls for the military operation between this between these two nations and number two the treaty calls for the military consultations uh precede actual cooperation here finland's security is being safeguarded So basically these two articles talk about that the military uh, cooperation which means that from now on the, the, the Finland and the Soviet Union would work together and number two that if Finland or if, if other party is being attacked the Finland and the Russia would be held and this also considered the fact that both would respect the sovereignty of each other but after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Finland, like other Eastern European nations, looked for the NATO partnership and in 1994, Finland became an official partner of NATO.